Hello. Welcome to the Profiles series. I'm Lou Gossett, Jr. This educational program is dedicated to sharing the stories of the best and brightest stars leading us into the future. From the classroom to the boardroom, this program will profile the people and the ideas making a difference in the way we as a society move forward. Purdue University, West Lafayette, Indiana. It was on this campus back in 1975 that African-American engineering students from across the United States and Canada attended an event, a meeting of concerned students and educators. It was during this historic gathering that the seeds for the National Society of Black Engineers, or NSBE, were sown. I've talked about what if we could pull together an organization that kind of mimicked some of the other professional organizations and we just shared information. We shared information about how to study, study files, study groups, study teams. We shared information about how to recruit and how to interview and how to interact with companies hiring. And we would share information at our own high schools about how and why we came into engineering. And when I began to share that with my roommates and others on campus, everybody said, hey, let's do that. And I think that was the genesis of NSBE. Today, with over 19,000 members and 300 chapters, the National Society of Black Engineers has evolved into the largest student-run organization in the country. Nesby supports and promotes the aspirations of university, pre-college students, and technical professionals so they can ultimately succeed in global engineering. The objectives of the National Society of Black Engineers are to make sure that we increase the retention of African-American students who enter into science, technology, engineering, and math. Second of all, we must absolutely address our pipeline issues. America is showing a downward trend towards the interest into science, technology, engineering, and math. And if we, as the National Society of Black Engineers, don't address the disparity well, as it applies to black say, students and students of color to, you know, entering into the STEM field, we may not exist yet. for the next 32 years. So clearly, those are our objectives. Each year, more and more members enter into the proven Nesby pipeline, helping ensure the continuous development of African-American engineering talent. The National Society of Black Engineers is a student-run organization. Um, currently, I'm an electrical engineering major at Polytechnic University. A lot of the benefits are to be able to uh, apply for scholarships, to be able to go to conferences and network with people around the U.S., and to be able to just work with individuals that you wouldn't be able to work with on a regular daily basis because you're not open to such a vast network. Year-round, new and innovative project ideas are generated and implemented by the organization's members, such as tutorial programs, outreach programs, seminars, and workshops. Ever-expanding, this nonprofit association annually hosts 18 regional conferences, an international summit, and a national convention which draws over 10,000 people. Planning a convention is a strong labor of love. We have a 24-member committee which consists of graduate students, undergraduate students, advisors and technical professionals. So it's just really a warm, inviting atmosphere. We throw ideas around. We're, we're big dreamers and, it, and it's wonderful to see our dreams come to fruition. We've got over 300 companies, corporations and colleges that come just to search our talent base. So what we do is we match our talent base of students and technical professionals with the corporations, the companies and the colleges that come to our conventions to, to assist us with the furthering of, of black engineers. My first involvement with the National Society of Black Engineers was in 1975 at Purdue University. Uh, I was part of the Purdue chapter when they founded the organization. We just want students to be successful. But when it comes to who's responsible for bringing young African American minds into an awareness of what engineering and science is about, the National Society of Black Engineers feels it's our responsibility. And that's why we developed and that's why we're still here today. The opportunity to be in front of CEOs of major corporations, uh, the opportunity to put together programs that would clearly uh, fulfill our mission statement to increase the number of culturally responsible black engineers who excel academically, succeed professionally, and positively impact the community. These are opportunities and benefits that I can't think of another organization that clearly places in the hands of young people and say, run with this. It's a mission that impacts everyone, everywhere. The National Society of Black Engineers, providing the tools so African Americans can excel in global engineering. 
clearly one of the, the big milestones for us was the fact that we were able to purchase our own world headquarters and have a place that we called home. Uh, international expansion uh, is another one. I'm sure that at the genesis of the National Society of Black Engineers, when we're thinking about crossing the continent of the United States, clearly, you know, who could have imagined that we would be around the world? So we have chapters all around the globe, which I think is, is a phenomenal piece for us. Uh, our growth, last year we had growth of 46% in our membership, surpassing milestones that a lot of us thought, you know, it, it would be decades even now that before we would reach them. And then for us to receive the largest single donation in the 32 year history of the organization, a million dollars from Battelle uh, Corporation is a highlight that we're all very proud of. The international expansion of NSB began in Montreal, Canada at McGill University, spread from there to the UK, to Trinidad, and our first actual conference was in Ghana, West Africa. And we've grown from a very small international constituency to now over 60 countries and over 1,500 members. We have an alumni executive board that really tries to not only support the students and support pre-college initiative, but also develop leaders on the professional level. So we try to enhance the NSBE programs. We stress technical excellence. Uh, we have special interest groups, and that's growing, which is basically an affinity group within the organization that's open to professionals and graduate students. And we try to provide that bridge so that even though it's a student-run organization and majority of the members are students, there's also somewhere for them to go as they graduate and as they go to grad school and enter the workforce. They have that same network and are able to continue to grow as leaders. So the Alumni Extension is doing things, you know, to both enhance the organization as a whole and to meet the needs of our general population. We want to rewrite the, the script when it comes to uh, African Americans and academic excellence so that when people think about the National Society of Black Engineers, they think about it the same way they would some of the top universities in this country, MIT's, uh, Berkeley. When you say those names, people automatically get academic excellence. That is what we're looking forward to doing with the National Society of Black Engineers. The emphasis of the organization now is on reaching deeper, reaching back further into earlier grades, grades three, four, and five, which is where studies indicate we're beginning to lose uh, our young people, particularly our black males in inner cities. To go to conferences and you see thousands of young people professionally dressed, professionally attired, with interview and job opportunities, talking about they are so happy the organization has come to, to be because it made them feel like a part of the university, and made them feel like a part of the profession and has profoundly touched their lives. It's just a, an amazing experience. One of the things that the National Society of Black Engineers that Nesby offers is the opportunity to really bridge the needs of our community with the resources that are in place in many of our communities. For instance, well-meaning individuals, a lot of corporations have invested in things like computer centers, like learning centers that are currently underutilized or going unused at all. And what our organization provides is 20,000 foot soldiers that can go into those communities, take those needy individuals by the hands and put them in touch with these resources, show them how to use it, walk them through that, and give them an, an idea of what it looks like to be successful having done so. That's what Nesby has to offer that no other organization in the world has to offer. Thanks for being with us today. Maybe you were able to affirm some of your own ideas and ambitions. Be sure to join us next time to hear more about the people and ideas helping to shape the future. I'm Lou Gossett, Jr.